And we're back. On this episode of Get Good Incorporated, Chris Chris is still uh, helming the controller, so to speak, and is going to go and okay. re-engage Black Knight. Go helm that controller hard. This time it's for real. <laughs> this time it's for keeps. Go for, <laughs> go for broke. Heaven or hell, duel one, fight! <laughs> Face it straight! Yeah, we can hit the purple thing back at him. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, it's like the Zelda back and forth. Shovel Knight, we must battle to the death. I can't do too much, though. <laughs> no, we can't do it too much. <laughs> we can't. You over- gotta have the the uh, the drum hit there. Well, no. <laughs> we can't overuse the sick ability. Oh, if you hit the shiny one, I think it does something. Look at those molten rocks. Watch oh, out. We- yeah, we can't. We can't fuck with those. You can bounce on them. But- oh Ooh, no. no! He's gonna destroy it. Only he has the power. No! There we go! This isn't even my final form! Alright, Freezer. We can do it! Remember oh, no. when I said this time for real? He's casting yeah, Meteor. No. We He's can do casting it! casting Meteor. No. Here we go. We oh, so totally got the this. The tension is real. We totally, totally got this. But not this one. Not this one. <laughs> we gotta give it another go. I mean, you could totally salvage this. No, you can't. He's wait, like wait, one I think more we might have. I think we might have some versus like trouble, half. Trouble st- oh, wait, darn. A little late for that one. Sad thing. I don't even know that we've been back to free fill the i core. We gotta go get Applefish at some point no, before the tower. No, we don't. Which is the bu- that's the button I want. Yes, perfect. We now, gotta get them axes. Yeah, we, yeah. Got, we, we Castlevania's got to- now. Castlevania axe, throw, do it. Throw that cross. Go for broke. I love Death's voice in Symphony of the Night. I demand you cease your attack! So if you guys haven't figured this out by yet, or by now, I can talk and use words in a coherent fashion that mean stuff. Um, Juan and Chris are both Castlevania fanatics. I enjoy Castlevania, but I can't say that I am in any way, shape, or form quote-unquote good at Castlevania. Um, you should play Symphony of the Night. Anybody can beat Symphony mm-hmm. of the yep. Night. The you don't is, have to be good at yeah, Symphony of the, game the is Night. Easy. But and I'm not you, anybody. You, I'm... you can level up. You can control like the directionality of your jump. It's, it's really easy. It's also, yeah, super so easy. So is it like the Game Boy one? Yeah, it's a lot like the DS ones, I would okay. say. Or like yeah, the, the ones on Game Boy Advance, even. Yeah, like yeah. The, the one with... Like the, those follow it as a model. The one with the white cloak that in the end I'm pretty sure turned out to be Dracula or whatever. Oh, so Area of Sorrow. That one! Spoiler alerts for Area of Sorrow, by the way. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> but but that's like the only thing I know about it because there's like the ball of corpses at the end. I mean that game something. that game came out in like 2003. If you haven't played it now, come on. I'm 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 not the best at. I'm it. just saying, like anybody who was like ah, spoilers, I'm like if you haven't played it by now, shut up. <laughs> well, may, the statute may, of maybe, limitations on that may, one maybe, is maybe, out the window. It's maybe, been more than ten years. May, maybe not shut up, but no, no, honestly, spoilers that are no longer spoilers. But, but saying that's, shut that's up like is that's, so mean. that's like on Darth Vader levels. Right. Guys, did you know Darth Vader is actually Luke's dad? <gasps> no. No way. No, seriously, there are spoilers that eventually become not spoilers because they're just so well known. You know. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm not saying Arya of Sorrow is that well known, but you know, if you're trying to get into Castlevania, yeah, you're eventually going to hear that. You know? Probably. Especially if you oh, played Dawn of Sorrow hit first him by mistake. The thing. <laughs> Axe power Some activate. Some probably did. Boom. 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 No, we missed. No. I did the same. We did. But he avoided that one. <clears throat> totally got this. Chris, you can do it. I believe in you. Believe in the me that believes in you. Yay, that reference. Get in the robot. The flesh suit. Yo, Shinji, get in the robot. Get in the flesh suit. Amuro, pilot the Gundam. (laughs) I remember watching Gundam, like, 
whenever I was maybe 12, and it was the one with the burning finger and uh, the shiny. G Gundam. G that Gundam. one! Yeah, yeah. Yes! And, and there was, um... Ronin Warriors. That was on Toonami when yeah, I was younger. I, watched, I, I, watched I that a little bit, yeah. really enjoyed Ronin Warriors. I was very pleased with Ronin Warriors. I liked the orange one that was like Michelangelo. He was pretty cool. <laughs> I, I really liked the I, orange one. I didn't watch it frequently enough to remember if I had a favorite. Because if I'm not mistaken, he had this like badass scythe thing. The orange one. And I was uh -huh. very, I was very entertained. Like, I was, I loved scythes as weapons. Like, the, the really huge ones. So, uh, when I found out that there was a specific scythe in World of Warcraft, I was just, I was... Scythes in general. Death Scythe, the Frost Scythe, the Lord of Hoon. Really? You like you like scythes? I've never been a fan, to be honest. No, no, but not, not like the sickle ones that they use to harvest wheat. Just like the really over-exaggerated big ones that are like, this is my weapon to defeat all weapons. Like, like... Do you, do you know what I'm saying? Like the oversized ones that are like three times the size of the hero's body and like the blade is the size of like a truck. I get it, I get it. You like big size and you cannot lie. Shut up. Not even fair. <laughs> hey, look at that. It's like I figured out the attack or something. Oh boy. <clears throat> but not that one! <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> we can do it. I believe in you. The rival fight. We we have to defeat. Um... We gotta be Goku. <laughs> gotta be the best Vegeta. We get. We gotta charge the spirit bomb. There he is again. <laughs> oh, it just hits it right back. <laughs> yeah, he's a little bit tougher than he was the first time you fought him. Yeah, a little bit. And the second time. Yeah. Yeah. I did the thing. Yeah, he chuckled a little. Timing. Hey. There he goes. Flying in an annoying pattern. <laughs> he got this. Oh boy. Yeah, there you go. Just mind. stand on the edge of the screen. Yeah, just <laughs> avoid them. Yeah, just avoid the middle. No. You do it. Stick and move. Just for certain balls. I should have given Black Knight his own Sephiroth style theme song. <laughs> I mean, this is probably it. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, like with like voice, like voices. Voice oh. Voice. Well, maybe one day we'll get a 2.5D Shovel Knight. <laughs> yeah, that'd be interesting. Yeah, that, I, I, cause like they did the model with that like. Banjo Kazooie, not Banjo Kazooie. Like oh, where they the, have a 3D the, shovel the, knight. The ukulele. Yeah, the the chameleon bat game that I'm really fond of because the people from where where that rareware that aren't rareware anymore made that game, and I'm very intrigued to play it. It it will remind me of both Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie, which were two yeah. of the most played games on the N64 for me. Yeah. Oh after, no, uh, we got taken out like the dinosaurs. After what I said about Killer Instinct, I'm going to lose more cred with the Nintendo crowd when I say I was never into Banjo-Kazooie. Aww! <laughs> well, that's a game we have to play. We ha you're going to play Banjo-Kazooie if you're going to make me play Symphony of the I, I don't even have Banjo-Kazooie. So I will get it. That is. I will acquire that game. We can get it on the Xbox. We could just... There's a 360 port. Yeah, but isn't it like altered in some way? Or, no, I mean, or, well, or there was the stop of... and shop feature for the N64 that wasn't implemented because it was supposed to allow dual functionality between the first game and the second game by swapping out memory packs or something by getting items in the first game, which were like seven eggs and an ice key. No, I, was, but, I was thinking of Donkey Kong Country Returns and how they changed the, the enemies. Never mind. That was, oh, like, no. was something completely different. No, it's, uh, it's the same game, but except they uh, implemented the stop and swap feature on the 360 okay, as opposed to the unimplemented one on the What's that even playing? Like, what, what does it do? Uh, it just gave you a whole bunch of unlockables in the second game and some stuff that was like Xbox 360 exclusive. The original stop and swap, if I'm not mistaken, was supposed to give you some like power-ups in the second game. Because the way you had to do it on the... 
And 64 was you had to, like, put the game in with the memory pack, and then you had to do something with, like, memory expansion slot or something. Like, while swapping out the cartridges or some random jank shenanigans. And then you were able to unlock the stuff in Banjo-Tooie. But that was never fully, like, brought to fruition, and... Hey, was Killer Instinct also rare? I think so. Yes, yes, yes it was. Yes, it was. Ah. I'm noticing a pattern here. Honestly, I'm not really a big rare fan. Uh, but, but, Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong 64. But I like Country a lot. Both 1 and 2. In my opinion, 3 probably didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Dixie whatever? No, it's, uh... Kitty's Conquest? Yeah, that one. No, um, Diddy's Conquest was was the second one. Uh, but... It wasn't Dixie in the third one? Yeah, Dixie and Kitty Kong. Oh, okay. With the big fat Donkey Kong, like... Fuck. Pseudo-clone. Yeah, you almost had him that time, though. That was close. It's like, back to the first time we almost had him. <laughs> oh, I have to find out what that third game is called. <laughs> um... Uh, uh. All right, Chris, you can do it. You gotta do it. Donkey Kong Country Three. Now with even more monkey business. Go ape! Oh my goodness. Oh wow, triple threat there, Chris. I only ever played the first Donkey Kong Country, and it's all right. But but the second one. I never played it. Oh. <laughs> and super distressful. Like, the second one was super good. Hey, you got him. That's great. I did the thing. Many times. Oh no! Well, like I said, while people were playing their Donkey Kong countries, I was doing Sega stuff. But Donkey Kong's so great. Hey. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I have a bit there. I play. Oh my god. If, if there was ever, ever a game to, like, impress me by getting me, it would be Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2. Impressive. I did the thing! <laughs> you did it, you got him. Like, like, make me revere you. Hmm. Like, super revere. Hmm. I, I love Donkey Kong Country. It's 1 and 2. Number 3 again doesn't exist. Pretty sure that game is doom for me. So, uh, I yeah. I adore the id guys. <laughs> uh, well, I think that's going to be it for this episode of Get Good Incorporated. Next time, we will be taking on the full Tower of Terror and facing off against the dubious dudes. So, until next time, everybody. See you guys later. Progress! Mm, bye.